Hello everyone, welcome back to vCodes. This is Vipin. In today's video, I want to explain a bit more about how to create a test bench. We are taking the example of a ripple carry adder and we want to test for all sets of inputs and outputs. All the permutations and combinations I want to be tested and make sure that it is working. So how do I do that? And that too automatically. All right. So let's uh, dig into the codes right away. So you can see that uh, I am using structural level of coding. The ripple carry adder which I named as RCA4 and its subcomponents all have been written in the same uh, file. If you want to know how it, this can be done, uh, I have posted a video about this uh, just before. I have posted the link, link to it in the description, you could watch that. So you can see that the file begins with the half adder code which goes up to here. Uh, just like any other VHDL code, you have the libraries and entity and the code. After that, I have written the code for a full adder in which we will be instantiating the two half adders. Okay, so that is done here, right? And so this half adder which is instantiated here is from here. Okay, so first half adder, then using those half adders, the full adder and then using those full adders, I will need a total 4 of them, I will have an uh, ripple carry adder, right, 4 bit, we are taking an example of a 4 bit ripple carry adder, so you can see that uh, A and B are the inputs which are 4 bit each and carry input is uh, 1 bit, then as usual uh, sum is 4 bit and there is a carry out, you can see that the full adder is added as a component in the architecture section, these are the carries of each of the full adders C1 to C4. And here I am instantiating the full adders. This C1 is the carry of full adder 1 which is passed as the carry input for the uh, second full adder. And this C2 is the output carry of the full adder 2 which is passed to full adder 3 as an input, right? So it goes in a, a chain. Now since we have the code ready, we want to know whether it's gonna work or not, right? So normally how we go about this is like if you are a beginner you could just uh, select a few random inputs like A is equal to 1010, B is equal to 1000 and then like see if the output is working. It is good like maybe some errors you might notice and you will be able to rectify it but we are never sure that there are some hidden errors right. So it is always better to test for all the input combinations possible. So in this case, A can have a value between 0 to 15 and B also can have a value of 0 to 15, meaning A and B can have 16 possible values each, right? And even carry in can have a value of 0 or 1, so two values. So if you just check the uh, number of sets of inputs, unique inputs for this ripple carry adder, you can see that uh, the number of inputs will be uh, 16 multiplied by 16 multiplied by 2 which is uh, 256 uh, multiplied by 2 512 so if you have to simulate this and check if it is working for each and every input uh, manually it's gonna be very troublesome okay so it's better to automate it so how do we do that in the test bench so let me show that to you so the test bench starts here the uh, library declarations uh, component which we are going to test RCA4, ripple carry adder 4 and these are the inputs, outputs and these are some internal test bench signals I have used which I will uh, explain later. So you can see that there is a signal called error which counts the number of errors. Okay, I will show you how that is done very soon. This is two signals actual sum and calculated sum. So actual sum is the real uh, value of the sum which doesn't have any error okay which is equal to a plus b plus uh, carry in basically and calculated sum is the sum which is calculated using the rca4 component which we have already written so we have to compare whether these two are same and then based on that uh, increment the error if needed so we have instantiated the rca4 past the inputs and outputs this is the stimulus process where we will be applying the inputs. We have 16 possible values for A, 16 for B and 2 for carry in, right? 
so how do we do this how do we assign this different values to a b and carry in uh, without writing uh, too much code or coding which makes sense one way to do this is i have an input uh, standard logic vector type which is 9 bit in size okay which is initialized to 0 and within a while loop like this is kind of like an infinite while loop because the true the condition true is always inside so it's an infinite loop okay so within this loop i am incrementing input input which is 9 bit and the topmost four bits 8 down to 5 will be assigned to a and the next four bits 4 down to 1 will be assigned to b and the last bit the lsb bit assigned to carry in if you can see this image uh, input is 8 down to 0 and a is these bits b is this bits and carry in this bits so every time you increment this uh, signal this uh, 9 bit signal we will split it into three and assign to this input signals a b and carry in so the value of this 9 bit signal will keep on incrementing like 0, 0, 001 then it goes here here and the last two values will be like this and once we reach here all ones we are done with all the possible combinations of inputs and we can we can exit the while loop so that is what i am doing here so if input is equal to all ones then exit this is how we will break out of an exit which is very similar to the break statement in c or other uh, programming languages so we increment the input we split this input signal into uh, various uh, input ports and then wait for 100 nanoseconds just wait for some random time and then we verify the results so we have declared two variables here actual and calculated both are 5 bit each and then uh, we are adding a b and carry in together so actual is a 5 bit but a is a 4 bit so you cannot really do a plus b plus carry in that will not work so what we have to do is we have to append a 0 to the msb bit to make it a as 5 bit and do the same with the b append a 0 to the msb and uh, here carry in is only one bit so you need to add a, so you need to append four bits okay so you do this appending and then add them together and that will be the actual results so calculated result is uh, what we get from the rca4 component we wrote so that will be the sum of sum and carry out similarly like how we did uh, in line 61 you can see that i append a zero to sum and carry out is the msb basically so i have appended four zeros to the lsb part yeah so now i want to make sure that these two things are same if the code is working actual and calculated should be same right so that is what i am doing here if actual is not equal to calculator then there is an error so i increment the signal called error right so basically at the end of our test bench at the end of our uh, simulation this error should be still zero yeah if there is a value of uh, 10 that means there are 10 errors out of those 512 sets of inputs and uh, here i am assigning these variables actual and calculated to this uh, actual sum and calculated sum which are signals yeah why i am doing this is uh, we cannot see the value of variables inside silings uh, i think so i am i want to see that right even though testbench is doing everything automatically i still want to see it so that's why i have declared these signals and just assign the va the variables in here to actual sum and once everything is done once uh, we break out of the loop we have a finished statement which uh, stops the simulation so that's it about the test bench so let's uh, go ahead and test this code okay Let's see how it works so behavioral check syntax simulate behavioral model the simulation has opened up uh, let's zoom out now let's add some of the internal signals in the rca4 module just drag and drop them here these are the carry outs of each full adder
and one more thing i want to do is i want to change the radix of these signals so that uh, right now they are showing in binary i want to show them in unsigned decimal right click uh, radix and unsigned decimal okay so also let's uh, simulate it for say 1 millisecond and you can see that it didn't simulate for 1 millisecond but by 51 microsecond the simulation has ended because in the test bench we exited the while loop and we encountered the finish statement so also you can see that the error signal remains zero throughout which means there are no errors you can also manually check this you can see that uh, input 7 plus 8 is 15 and 7 plus 9 is 16 which uh, translates to 0 okay and uh, also this carrying should be included so you can see that 7 plus 8 plus 0 is 15 and 7 plus 8 plus 1 is uh, 16 which is 0 right and uh, when uh, this becomes 0 you can see the carry out is set as 1 here Similarly, uh, 7 plus 9 is plus 0 is uh, 16 and 7 plus 9 plus 1 is 17. So, you will get a 1 here and a carry out of 1. So, you can see that RCA4 is working well and the uh, most important thing is that without uh, checking manually, we are able to see that there are 0 errors. This is how you can do a self-checking test bench. So, that's all in this video. Uh, I hope uh, you have learned something new from uh, this video. If it's been useful to you, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for uh, more such uh, videos. Alright, bye-bye.